it's the first video of the year. No, it's not. I posted a video last week. This is like the first time that I've filmed in 2018, so I'm super excited. Um, I haven't really like sat down with the lights and camera and everything in a while. I've been doing a lot of vlog style videos, which I really enjoy doing. I hope all of you enjoy those as well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Catherine Simone. I try to post every Thursday because Thursday is my favorite day of the week. Today what I got for y'all is something that I don't think a lot of people expected for me to do and it was very out of the blue, out of the nowhere. I'm loving it so far. Big news is I got an undercut. Well I guess you can tell by the title. What's an undercut if you don't know? The back of your head shaved. It's just like an undercut. It's cut under. I will show you what it looks like at the end of the video because I don't just have some plain simple undercut you know I, I you know i have to have a design if you want to see the design you have to stay till the end it's cute it's very me i was like so delighted when i saw it for the first time so why did i get an undercut oh, i didn't get an undercut just be for aesthetic reasons or because i thought it was a cool thing to try i actually got it for a specific reason so as you all know if you've watched my channel in the past i have naturally curly hair i got a black mom a white dad so you know there's a lot of mixtures up in there and my hair legitimately white and black but texture wise I'm gonna try and insert some photos so you can see what I mean if you haven't watched my videos before but my bottom layers of my hair were very wavy basically my hair was split into two different textures my bottom layer of my hair was more on the straight wavier side like still had some curl to it but definitely more kind of wavy and my top half of my hair more volume a lot of texture a lot more curly and I just always felt so self-conscious about it. You could see that it was two different kinds of hair. I didn't know anyone else that had two different kinds of hair like that. And it always really bugged me and I didn't really know what to do about it. For a long time, I thought that the bottom layers of my hair were damaged hair because I had used heat for such a long time. I've actually been heat free now for almost like nine months now. So. Go me. When I got my hair done, they showed me like you don't really have any heat damage. Like you just have two different kinds of hair. In August 2017, I cut my hair to about the shoulders and I loved it. You could still kind of see the difference. So I said to myself, okay, the next time I go to get my hair done, like I just want to cut off all of like the straight, straighter looking hair so I can avoid the texture issue i went in for another trim i kind of confided in her the story that i basically just told y'all about like i'm self-conscious about my curls because of this reason and then she said well you know one day when you're ready you could always do an undercut and that would basically take care of your problem and if you'd be down for that and i said well um could we do it today she took it to like a six and i'm still learning this whole barber cut clippers talk lingo stuff she had shaved it and she left at first like probably like this much hair and straight up all of it was like it was straight like no waves no curls straight hair like i guess that's what happens when you are a biracial baby but lately i have been wearing my hair natural more again still loving the wigs of course my hair is shorter than it used to be but i don't even care about that anymore i don't care about the length i love that my hair looks voluminous and healthy still looking kind of dry i'm still working on that how does that saying go like the moment we have all been waiting for robin west And there you have it y'all. I now have an undercut. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. It's really fun. I um, have been having a good time so far getting the designs, going to barbershops, trying new things, stepping out of my comfort zone, and taking more risks. That's definitely one of my goals this year is to stop being literally such a scaredy cat and doing things that liberate me. I hope you all have a great Thursday and I will see you in my next video.